Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. If you're watching this, we came back from DR. So after the come back from DR, um, what's better than doing another cigar review, right? So we're gonna do another cigar review. So today we're doing the double review for the Year of the Dragon by Drew Estate. Okay. So um as usual fashion. I got the box, so I'm gonna show you guys the box. So around the box, talk about the box. And Eric, who is also doing this double review, will do the cigar stuff. Okay. So um back. It's got a barco. And another barco over here. It's a Jewel Estate. So one says Liga Provada Year of the Dragon, the other one says uh Jewel Estate. Now the box itself. Looks pretty cool. You got the Jewel Estate. Um, what do you call it? Um, what would you call this? Uh, not Chimera. Um, Griffin. Got a Griffin over here, and then you got the Year of the Dragon Dragon logo over here. You got the Dragon in traditional font. All right, I love that. A lot of people use like simple five font. Don't be so lazy, okay? Don't be so lazy. You have the dragon on top, dragon skill all over this, and it's like lacquered, very shiny, shiny. I like the shine, like I I like the shine, this shine, okay. And then um, go inlay, well not go inlay, go overlay. It looks like they paint it first and put the go overlay on top, and then the side is print in. Lack of better term, poop gold. So um, they, 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 I'm pretty sure this paint coat is called gold. But when they did it, they didn't have enough bright yellow or something like that. So it looks more like poop, but it's supposed to be like flame. So this is pops out, okay? This is kind of cool. It pops out. This design comes out. Pretty cool, all right? And the, right, the rest is just like, you know, China red. Bottom, velvet. 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 You got to do it right. You got to do velvet, okay? And then, here we go. Now, I might have some B-roll for you guys. Uh, just to show you, but uh, inside, uh, you get obviously the reflection and the amber and Jewel Estate, uh, the Griffin in the middle, Dragon. Again, that's how you write Dragon. This is my name, so I love it when it's written in um, uh, traditional, not simplified. Don't be so late, all right? You get 10 cigars in here, 10 cigars in here. We'll do a, a B-roll. Well, let's take a really quick look at the cigar. Let's take a look at the cigar. The cigar is 6x52 Toro. Uh, it's $37 per cigar. So our box is $370. Um, Liga Provada has been... Well, Drew Estate has been releasing some uh, the year off for quite some time now. And it's always like, you know, release the US a little bit late. So if you if you... See this one is probably not available until much later because this uh, is a, a Hong Kong release right now and eventually it will get to the rest of the state. I'm pretty sure it will. Okay. Down there you see the Year of the Dragon logo and it's written like almost like a comic written font. Kind of weird. Uh, but that's the style they've been going with all the other ones too. The bottom you get a footband which Beautifully designed, really gold, really shiny. Of course, 2024 there, and you get a dragon letter on there. Yeah, the blend is undisclosed, undisclosed. But based on the information here, 10 cigar handmade 
in Asli, Nicaragua, which means the cigar has Nicaragua tobacco in there. But the rest, I don't know. They didn't release it. So let's get into the cigar itself. Do a little bit of itchy throw, but I think we can get through with it. Six by 52. Let's go. Big, big cigar. Um, yeah. I just realized the cigar itself is cracked. So this had to go to the repair pile. And I just get another cigar out of this uh, to, to smoke. So give me a second. It's damaged due to transportation. But, you know, kind of cap. Crack cap can be repaired. Not a big deal. Just get one without crack. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's start. Why well, am I keeping that? Okay. Sweet cedar leatheriness. That's pretty much it. Take off the foot band. Let's see if this thing. Oh, nice. The glue comes right off. Oh, okay. A little bit of pepper just came to my nose now. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. Ooh, I could, that's slow. That's slow. <laughs> there we go. Dragon foot pen. Looks nice. Drew estate. Get to the point. Dragon skill. That makes, like, you know, dragon design makes everything easy, man. Dragon design makes everything easy. $37 top tail, though. That's uh, that's uh, quite a bit of money to go to. So, all right, let's go. Do I even have a cutter that fits this shit? I do. Ah, that still cracked the side a little bit. What the hell? You know what? Oh, it's not too bad, but I don't know. The moisture or whatnot, kind of weird. I want to... There is way more than enough moisture in this because it has Bovita pack and stuff on top on it when I obtained it. Now, it might not like the airplane ride, but I think it's doable. I'm just trying to cap, tape down the cap a little bit more. It shouldn't affect the smoking experience. If it does, I am not going to deduct experience point out of this thing for simply crack and, and, and thick because it could be the moisture here. Even though all the other cigars smoke is fine. Recently, uh, in terms of cap issues, it should be okay. All right. Just disclaimer. I don't want to take out another cigar and having to glue again later on anyway. So, cigar glue, best thing you can buy. Seriously, for cigars, especially all you know what what it is is the the gauge is so big, and when you squeeze down, it cuts the rest. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fermenty, salty mushroom ish. I'm pretty sure that pectin thing is not salty. So, whatever I'm tasting is salty. It's salty. No. Yeah, it's salty. I'm sure it's from this. Yeah, salty. Salty espresso. I just taste that. It's weird. It's, it, oh my God. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. Okay. That's some serious fire. There you go. Okay, that will do it. Sit behind a little bit so it's not at the wind.
That's me a little bit. Holy shit, I thought it was going to burn me. Okay. Why is strong, yo? Big cigar. I thought it was going to burn me. Okay, anyways. Serious big cigar. <clears throat> Smoke output is good. Salty mineral. And when I say salty, it's not like it's not that like the whole thing is salt. It's like bits of salt. Like a tad a dab a dab a dab a dab salt kind of thing. It's weird. Woodsy, earthy, mineral. A little bit of pepper with spice. A little bit of spice. There's a little bit of like um, metal bitterness to it. Not a lot, but there is some. There's a fermentiness to it. Ferment taste. Alright, so I'm going to smoke one third. I'll be right back. Alright. <clears throat> so we're at one third. It's burning a little wonky. I had to fix it a few times. But like I said, I'm not going to give it too much trouble on that one because for some reason, it's not burning well today. Um, the flavor is like a woodsy mineral, earthy, a little bit spice, a little bit musty. Not a bad cigar, but not yet shy. Uh, type of a cigar. I did try to look for some more information. I think there's, the wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf. Which kind of does have that characteristic. But it's not punchy. It's not punchy. Uh, the strength right now is roughly hitting medium. Medium? Not, not crazy right now. It's about medium. So, in terms of first third impression, I think it starts out very slow. It, it's a very slow going cigar right now. Um, I was keep smoking it and then I was like, oh, when's this gotta get to first third? Because it's a big cigar and it takes a while. And you know, obviously the the wrapper is not it's not really helping. So I was like, oh, when's it gotta get you know going? So before I know it, I finally got the first third. Figure I give you guys an update. It's not crazy right now. We'll see. Once it hits the sweet spot, somewhere in the halfway through, maybe it'll get better because it, it has potential to have a lot of good notes. It's just waiting on that right now. So we'll smoke another third. We'll be right back. All right, second third. Second third we're at. So yeah, second third is the, the good spot. All right, second third is the good spot. So. You get, you get hay, you get cedar, you get earthiness, you get a little bit of sweetness, you get a little bit of saltiness here and there. You get this musty, mushroomy taste. You get a little bit of coffee, just a little bit. And I would say there's also a little bit of uh, like nuttiness to it too. And that's pretty much it. Is it enjoyable? Yes. Uh, it's about a medium plus right now uh, in terms of strength. Flavor. It's not punchy, but it's enjoyable. It's not punchy, but it's enjoyable. Okay. Um, but it doesn't shine on its own either. Okay. You need like a good drink to go with it. Coke, coffee, whatever. You need something to help that flavor. Definitely needs Retro Hill. 
Burning's fine. I don't know. Um, in right now, I would say the flavor kind of justify the strength, but it's not celebratory kind of things. Like, yes, it tastes so good. Oh my god! No, it's uh, it's more like uh, oh, it's not bad cigar. It's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, kind of cigar. So. And I think that's for me usually with Jewish Day cigar. All right, some of the good, uh, some of the stuff that tastes kind of good, yeah. Some of the stuff that tastes like meh, but it's not too bad. I don't think Jewish Day make absolutely terrible cigar. I just make, I just think that they make cigar that is not towards my palate per se. And I, I have a feeling that they, their their quality has dropped over the years, uh, but they still release good cigar. Okay, so. As of right now, was it thirty seven dollars? And I and I keep giving people tell some that some people tell me, hey Tony went through the factory, you should know something about you know the effort with cigar prices and stuff like that. Now I still gotta review them based on enjoyment, not effort, not price, not, not, not effort, not cost of the cigar, whatever. I I'm thinking about how much I will pay as as a, as a consumer if I go out there and saw one like I want to try one, blah blah blah. blah that kind of enjoyment okay not like oh how much effort they went through well you gotta know they, they you know companies have a lot of people to share those efforts so even though i know how hard the effort is well when you have 10 people it's very different than two people right so i'm not gonna even put that in the factor okay i'm telling you this as a basis point where you if you see at a certain price point you might more likely to buy it than not okay so and, and i got and i they are very few cigar where I just tell you skip it, but you know majority of the time the cigar is uh, is worth a certain value to people where they hit that sweet spot and they go like I want to buy this. That's how my review goes. So I, I want people to understand that when I say this, I think this cigar is worth a certain price. It's worth a certain price for me to buy it again or want to buy it the first time. Not necessarily like this cigar really does pay. It costs this. No, it doesn't. Okay, so keep that in mind. That sweetness okay uh right now we are at for me for me okay all these side uh, evaluations for me and take us entertainment purposes okay for me right now it's a 15 to 16 dollar cigar including my experience with that packaging okay so 15 to 16 dollar value to me at the moment and we'll see how last third do. If the last third didn't drop, then we get a few more points up, you know. But if the 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 last third is really really empty, then we'll probably stay in between sixteen dollars or so. Okay, last third. Be right back. Okay, so last third. Surprisingly, last third tastes pretty good. Last third has a lot of flavor. Woodsy, hey. A little bit earthiness, spice, a little bit saltiness, a little bit sweetness, toasted, not something like that. It, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It didn't really drop in flavor and stuff like that. Like I'm, I was surprised. I was like, oh, it's real steak, probably. You know, I I was surprised. Not too bad. First third disappointing. Second third ramps up a little bit along with strength. Third last third, ah, uh, pretty good. I still have a lot of flavor. Uh, I can totally enjoy the rest of this. But, 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 it burns really hot. It, it, it must have a lot of moisture in there, which kind of boggles my mind because with a lot of moisture, how the hell did it crack the freaking top? But it's, all st it's a lot of steam. It burns really hot, okay? It burns really hot. But tastes good. Tastes good. You know, it's almost like there's like a, a naughty version of the, the chocolate that's in there, but it's very faint. So in terms of that chocolate flavor, I wouldn't I wouldn't calculate. I wouldn't say that's something that you look for. You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's flavorful. Now, compared to other dragons, uh, I would say out of the what, eight or nine, this sits somewhere in the middle, middle upper portion of the tiers. 
Is it worth 37? Well, if you want to collect it, yeah. I think the US is retail. It's going to be retail for $44. It's a horrible number, but it's going to be retail for $44. So, so if you want to, if you look into collect that, sure. But $44. MSRP is only $37. And this cigar to me, I, with this enjoyment, roughly 18 No, 17 17 oh 17 18 i can okay 17 18 because this is a lot it's a lot of smoke time 17 18 dollars okay um <clears throat> yeah I, I think i'm gonna stay at that number 17 to 18 dollars i'm gonna stay at that number i think that's uh that's the that's a fair number so although it's not 37 but if you can get a one with two stick at that price of some trade or something like that maybe maybe right again whatever that number is is not calculating what they feel as the it's worth that their effort because putting this box together must be hell must be hell right so it wouldn't be something easy to do so if they decide that number sure but as a consumer if i just pick up a cigar i didn't have, i don't i know i i just want to enjoy it how much is it worth it to me, right? There's always two sides, right? For example, uh, uh, you know, Apple want to sell their phone for one thousand dollar, and you want and 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 you bought the phone, and there's a lot of function that doesn't work. It made you feel like it's uh, you know five hundred dollar. They still gotta sell it for a thousand, but to you, it's like, oh, I wish I can buy that phone for five hundred, and which will you know eventually, if you wait long enough, it's five hundred bucks, right? So it's like, put that in perspective, all right? Put that in perspective. It's not saying that it's a bad cigar or a good cigar. I'm saying that for me. If it's 18 bucks, I'll be like, all right, let's buy something and try it. Even though I already know, I obviously I bought it for 37 each. So, um, but you know, something like this is limited edition. Limited edition things tend to cost more. I'm just telling you what it would be worth if I was just smoking. Right? Personal opinions. Personal opinion. Okay. So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. Make sure to watch. Smoke one if you have one, so, uh, a, a re version of this review as well. Let's see what he like. And um, yeah, if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, share with your friends, share your experience, listen to our podcast. We got swag, we got membership, we got Patreon. Do them up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.